Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that they like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, shalom to the uh, Akim out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson, another one on this uh, Friday night, um, 8 26 p.m. Central Standard Time on this May the 13th, Friday night. And the title of this uh, quick sit down lesson for tonight is going to be uh, what, what, what if some did not believe? And this is the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 3. And through the Holy Scriptures and it reads in the book of uh, Romans, verse 3, in the book of Romans, for what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect, right? What if some did not believe, you know, uh, especially uh, the Israelites that's of this world, you know, they scoff and mock, say you guys are crazy for preaching this word. You know, you guys are in the cult. You guys are uh, brainwashed and certain things like that. Hey, you know, so it's really not going to affect us, you know, because we're going to uh, continue to push this word truthfully and sincerely, whether if our own people don't like it or these other nations don't like it as well, too, you know, because, you know, we stand so stiffly for the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, that, which is the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, name is uh, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call JC, which is uh, Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew. You know, what if some not believe? You know, uh, precept. This is the book of Second Timothy, chapter two, verse thirteen. If we believe not, yet abide in faithful, he cannot deny himself right if we you know if we uh be denied or deny this you know abide faithfully you know this is can this cannot be denied you know because we definitely 100 percent believe in the words of yahweh we believe uh yahweh you know we believe and trust that Yahweh have our back no matter what the situation is or what what or what you go through, you know. Because Yahweh is going to have our back no matter what the situation is, you know. Or what situation that you're going through, you know. Or these trials and tribulations that you, you know, you go through, you know, through the good or bad, you know. Because we know as long as we continue to uh, push this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely, what meekness, humbleness, and sincerity through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know. So what if some not believe, you know? So that's why we got to keep on pushing this word truthfully and sincerely, preaching the true gospel, the true doctrine, the 100% right, correct way of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know. This is the uh, and this is another precept. This is the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter four, verse twelve. I mean, Hebrews, chapter four, verse two. I meant to say, so I can. For us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them not be mixed with faith in them that hear it, right? Because, you know, they hear this word, you know, and they were like, hey, you know, this this can't profit us, you know? You know, we just hear, like an old saying, you just hear the words and then come out the other ear, you know? You know, because these, uh, these uh, words and these holy scriptures and the understanding of these words through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, because they have the fathers of men, you know, we believe in these words, and we believe in the heaven, Father, and His only begotten Son, you know. Just like the scripture says, be doers of the word rather than hearers of the word. 
because you know the sun is the true prophet of Yahweh El Shah. You know, we believe these things and we do these things, you know. Like scripture says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, you know. So we work out our own salvation as, as well, too, when we're not around the uh, brethren or the Akim, you know. So we got to uh, uh, walk circumspect. Uh, like scripture says, worth a paraphrase, uh, why as the serpents and harmless as doves, you know. <coughs> Had that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, apply these holy scriptures to our daily life as much as possible we can, you know. As long as uh, the Heavenly Father give us an opportunity, chance to do these things, you know, that we, that's why we, uh, you know, be right to it, you know. And take that opportunity while we still have it, you know. And then, like, uh, going back up to here, you know, Romans 3 and 3, what if some not believe, you know. Share this, uh see the uh the faith of you have a faith you know because it's gonna hey like scripture says it's gonna prophesy unto the wind whether they hear or forbear you know it's not gonna affect it's not gonna, you know it's not gonna affect the words and the ministry of the uh, true gospel the true doctrine of Yahweh Yahweh of the men of the lord uh, the servants of prophets out there in the highways and byways you know what is some not believe you know even the scoffers and mockers uh, don't believe it. Hey, that's on them, you know. Even our own people as well, too. The Israelites was the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. What if they don't believe or not? Hey, the face of Yahweh shall affect, you know. You know, that just make us more stronger and make us more grow in this truth, you know. You know, who cares uh, what the uh, people outside of this truth believes, you know. They can believe whatever they want to believe. Hey, we're going to believe in Yahweh, Yahweh, you know, and faithfully and sincerely, you know, and meekness and humbleness and sincerity as well, too, you know. So, yeah, you know, that's all I wanted to bring out. It was just a, a quick sit down lesson. And I hope, and I hope to pray to Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Hopefully, this lesson was edifying the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. And first and foremost, uh, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekha Kadash. Couple honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, uh, that be like come to the speckled bird, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say, uh, shout out and a ball, ball, ball.